Welcome back to my channel. This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. If this is your first time here, please take just a minute. I know you're busy. You are, you know, you, you got to cook spaghetti. You got to take your dog out. Just go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Just only take a minute. I'm going to give you a minute. Can you just hit the button for me? Yeah, I'm begging you. I need you to hit that button and like, share, and subscribe. I'm tired of it. Look, you're coming to my channel. I know you're coming to my channel because I see in the analytics. But you're not like, share, and subscribing and hitting the bell notification. Now, that's, that don't make no sense. That don't make any sense for you to do that to me because you come here and you like my content and then you just roll out. All I'm asking is you just hit a button. I mean, gee, hitting a button, it don't take that long. I'm going to make a big deal out of it, okay? <laughs> You don't know who you're messing with. I'm going to keep bugging you till you do it. I need like 100,000 subscribers. I need some more watch time hours. And y'all can help me. This is free content. Costs money to run this operation now. Come on and help me out. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell for me. Pretty please. I'm going to love you forever. Guys, I want to talk about our justice system a little bit here. Uh, because Fonnie Willis is, has been in hot water Ever since she tried to bring this case against Trump, it turns out that the very things that they're accusing Trump of, they're actually doing. They are doing it. I hope everybody knows that because everything, I mean everything, that they are accusing us of doing, they are actually doing. Literally. Okay. <laughs> it's going to take a while. I mean, I don't know if we can find this stuff out, but... Uh, hopefully is uh, available to the public soon because <laughs> people are mad, okay? People are so hot right now, and I just wish it wasn't like that. But Fonnie Willis has gotten herself into some more trouble. Why? Because I think she's a criminal. That's my opinion about Fonnie Willis. I grew up around a lot of people just like Fonnie Willis. Believe it or not, I really did. I actually had an aunt that's like, remind me of Fonnie Willis. Like, she, she looks like her and everything. It's crazy. All right, so Fonnie Willis is, uh, you know, she's a typical liberal black woman. You know, I can say that because I'm black, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but nevertheless, I mean, she can't stay out of trouble. Every time you turn around and see something else about Fonnie Willis. Listen, in the liberal cities, guys, these people are all over the place and they're criminals. I'm just saying they, they really are. They they. Do all sorts of crimes, get away with it because they have high positions. This is a George Soros prosecutor, okay? She's a George Soros attorney. That's what Fonnie Willis is, man. She's working for the wrong side, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and every time, she, every time something happens, she runs to the church like this world to save her. God can't save you from that. You need to stop doing your sin, honey. You got to cut it out, all right? You got to stop doing what you're doing. I'm going to roll this clip, guys. I want to show you exactly what the hell Fonnie Willis done got herself into now. Absolutely crazy. Mo money, mo problems. <laughs> At least for former Atlanta city attorney and Democrat Shalitha Robertson. Now, she was just sentenced to seven years behind bars after being found guilty for pandemic loan fraud over $15 million worth. Robertson gave out this advice in 2023 goes back to what I've always told you. Don't ever chase the money. Mm -hmm. The money will come. Chase the universe, not the bag. That's mm -hmm. it. Chase your passion, baby. Chase your dream. The money will come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the money will come courtesy of the American taxpayers. Because safe to say, she didn't practice what she preached. In April and May of 2020, Robertson chose to follow the money and fraudulently applied for millions of dollars in government loans for four businesses that she owned. And then she hooked herself up with luxury items that came with a very steep price tag, such as a swanky Rolls Royce, mm. a 10 carat diamond ring. And Georgia filings show that she donated $1,000 to Trump prosecutor Fannie Willis's Democratic primary election campaign. That donation went through around the same time that Robertson received her massive payouts from the Paycheck Protection Program. Paris, you can't make this up. No, I mean, when you hear about all the, the candy that she was raking in, she was rolling like J-Lo before Ben Affleck. Uh, you know, does is there a fiduciary responsibility of Bonnie Willis as a district attorney to pay attention to as then a candidate who's donating to her campaign? 
Like when you get a certain amount, are you responsible for looking and seeing where that money came from? And if you are in something like this hoax, are you also responsible for going after that person? I mean, I have questions for Fonnie Willis now. Robertson basically answered them all. She chased the money and she was trying to make sure that the pot was big. So she was trying to tell everybody else don't chase the money. Right. So when she got there and found the money, it'd be waiting for her. Right. And according to 12 New York jurors, then absolutely every dollar needs to be scrutinized when you're coming about election. Right, Kaylee? Uh, Ah, yes. (laughs) in politics, there is a drumbeat, like with Harvey Weinstein when I was at the RNC. They were demanding the DNC pay back the money that was paid to them by Harvey Weinstein in the form of donations. So that is a fair question for Fonnie Willis. But the audacity of this woman, the Paycheck Protection Program came into place during COVID when I was in the administration, and it was for the purpose of being given to business owners to keep your employees paid because employees couldn't work businesses we didn't want them to go under. So this PPP program was for that purpose. This woman wrote on a form that she had four companies and 427 employees. I looked everywhere. I want to know how many employees she actually had. She clearly didn't have 427. Mm. She wanted to go out and buy diamonds. (laughs) Well, you can steal the money without any employees, which was Part of the fraud, just to be clear. By the way, that program was $1.2 trillion. Yeah. Just last summer, there was a report that $200 uh, billion possibly uh, was spent in fraudulent uh, claims. PPP, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, there was the pastor in uh, Minnesota. He said he had 28 employees. He didn't have any. There was a, a pastor, uh, excuse me, a, a man in uh, Florida. He bought himself a $3 million home, didn't even have a business. Wow. I mean, it, the fraud wow. was massive. So it, it was me- it was met in a good way, obviously. But look, at, at the end of the day, you know, Sam Bankman freed all that money that he, all that crypto, yeah. uh, crypto stolen money that he gave to all those politicians in D.C. Yeah, hmm. they, they're not giving that, that back. The, uh, uh, this is pretty serious because... Looks like that someone that Fonnie Willis is very close to uh, donated a thousand dollars to Fonnie Willis. Now, the woman that donated to her uh, has been found guilty and arrested. Uh, she's doing seven years in jail, in prison, uh, for fraud on the PPP loans. Bought diamond rings, fried chicken, probably some Gucci socks. You know, probably. Uh, uh, some Fendi underwears, probably, you know, like, uh, what else would they buy? Some, um, you know, uh, Cadillac, uh, big wheels for their kids, probably the Cadillacs, you know, probably bought, uh, you know, some Doshe and Gabbana curtains, <laughs> probably, <laughs> They probably, you know, they extravagant. They like diamond rings and Rolls Royces and stuff. How can you use your PPP money for that? This woman says she had 400 some employees. Bro, <laughs> I don't know anybody with 400 something employees still living in the hood, okay? It's, no, it's hard to have one employee, okay? It's, I don't know. This woman is allegedly lied, okay, on a PPP application. It's not funny, see? And, and Fonnie Willis has got tied to the kind of to these kind of people. Uh, I'm going to show you who you are when you show me who your friends are, who you associate with. She donated $1,000 to Fonnie Willis. Now, does that mean that, you know, she is best friends with Fonnie or is she kicking it with Fonnie all the time? Probably not. I mean, I don't know. Could be. But she liked her enough to donate some of that stolen money to her campaign. Sound like some hush money to me. That sounds like real hush money, you know. That maybe Fonnie didn't want anybody to know about. <laughs> I bet she, she. I bet you she wish nobody knew about it now. I bet she, she wish it was hush money. All right. She got a non-disclosure agreement. I don't know. We had to ask Fonnie next time we see her. <laughs> Fonnie. <laughs> hey, Fonnie. This ain't funny. Look, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is Fonnie Willis crooked? Or she's straight like Indian hairs. <laughs> yup, I said it. Thank you guys.